Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix iOS 15.1 fast battery drain problem. Not all the users who have updated to the latest 15.1 version are noticing such problems. Many have given a positive review for that. Recently, I have conducted a poll from users who are using the iPhone SE 4th generation, iPhone SE 2020 and above, you know, up to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is the latest iPhone to see the responses, whether any battery performance related issues are there or any features that supposed to work normally is not working and the results were quite surprising from iPhone 10R and above models most of the users have said that their battery performance is good the overall performance is also better than the previous iOS 15 version updates but below that iPhone 8 iPhone 10s 10s max and you know up to iPhone SE first generation it was kind of a 50 50 some people said that it is best it is working excellent but some people said that the battery is fast draining there are connectivity related issues and so on so i like to suggest few troubleshooting steps that you may try if you have such fast battery draining problem the very first thing you know before jumping into the troubleshooting step is you need to make sure that your battery health is at least 85 percentage if it is below that around 80 to 81 somewhere around that then it is important to check with apple service center whether your battery cycle count is completed if you are using you know approximately like two and a half to three years is the lifetime that I personally observed based on a normal iPhone user that the battery will come. So after that, they need to replace it once it reaches 80%. That's what even Apple actually suggests. So you need to visit the Apple service center and get it checked whether it needs a replacement of the battery or not. You know, that can be the main reason for the fast battery draining. So all these troubleshooting steps that I'm going to suggest to you may go ineffective if you have such low battery health. And the first troubleshooting step is you have to perform network settings reset go to settings app and then navigate to general then to reset at the bottom of the page and then navigate to reset and then tap on reset network settings this will completely you know flush all the network related settings as it says and i have personally tested with a couple of iphone users that this particular reset was very effective even with the previous ios updates that some sort of bugs you know that present in the network related settings after the update that may cause the fast battery drain can be addressed through this also another important thing is if you are you know getting just two or three signals it is not the signal bars are not full all the time that can also cause fast battery draining so make sure that you are using a sim or network you know that is giving a good coverage in your area in your region that is very very important if there is a requirement to change the sim card you know you may try that too if other people are receiving good reception only your device is not pulling up enough signal parts then you may try changing the sim cards that may help too if you are not using the eSIM and observe for you know two to three days how the battery performance overall when you use applications like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram when you watch videos in mobile data the battery consumption happens you know quite faster when you use them in Wi-Fi battery consumption happens a little lesser you know this also I have personally tested and you can give it a try and the next important thing is after observing for two to three days if you notice the same bad battery performance performance then you can perform settings general reset and go to reset all settings this will reset any software related settings that is causing the fast battery drain and this will definitely help and then you can observe for two to three days to see how it actually works 99 percent the network reset itself will be helpful otherwise you know as the next step you can try these all settings reset and the final step is you can perform iOS restore by connecting your iPhone to the computer and then launching iTunes and then taking a backup of your iPhone and then you can perform the iOS restore by downloading the fresh copy of the iOS 15.1 from the Apple server and then you know installing it in your iPhone so this kind of restore is a last resort if nothing worked you know this is the last step if you have more than the fast battery draining problem even if you take it to Apple service center then they will also try the same if you have a computer you can try this step I leave a link to a tutorial from Apple website in the description otherwise you know you can take it to the Apple service center if it is nearby and they will perform the iOS restore as a basic troubleshooting step and see how it actually works but before that you have to try the network settings reset and then the all settings reset uh, you know after two to three days gap and the very important thing is after waiting for two or three days after observing how it actually works 
feel free to comment below how it actually worked for you whether it was negative or whether it was positive you are seeing some improvements or not so that you know other users who are watching this video will also be able to understand and try these troubleshooting steps thank you for watching and have a wonderful day